Only the wonderful nexus could have enticed me to come. It is not easy to make the interstellar journey. What I feel about it, which is that this is the only conference or gathering I ever go to where on the same platform you can find an admiral and an opera singer. What I really appreciate is having this kind of interdisciplinary space to talk to people who are coming from very different types of movements, very different types of disciplines, and I think that doesn't happen enough. And that's why the Nexus Institute is so important, to bring people from different backgrounds, different areas. You know, it, I, it just doesn't happen to me very often to have this kind of range uh, of perspectives. Every day something new happens, every week something new happens, and there's barely any time to stop and think and analyze and digest. You're being catapulted into the next event and the next event. That's why we need these intellectual exchanges. How do we actually make reason entertaining? How do we speak? How many millennials are there out there in the darkness? One of the last real place of high level and free debate and discussion on liberal values. The human being, as a dignified being, is defined by certain rights, which can be set down in non-abstract terms. We have to start a new way of thinking and reject violence as any means to achieve a civil human society. The idea of a completely just society is the worst ideas of them all. Because completely just society is a society where no one can say that it is unjust. That is completely just society is a dictatorship. Please join the Nexus Institute. <laughs> Get the bumper sticker, join and keep it alive. And uh, because he's, there's, they have so many interesting ideas and doing a night like this is completely because of them. Mm -hmm.